this KJ7 GL here in North Carolina. Uh, wherever you're at, you're putting a 20 over 9 signal on me, uh, and I have my beam aimed at your report. This is okay. the Swan 240, and uh, the reason I purchased it was for sentimental reasons because this was the similar to the second rig I owned, which was a Swan 240 that I bought in New York City at Harrison Radio in 1964 for $410. So I figured being old now, I wanted to go back and get my second rig. I already have my first rig, which is a DX40 and NS76 receiver. And the key that I'm using is a J38 key. This key I've had for 53 years. It's the actual key I made my first contact with. And it is hooked up to this Swan 240. What I didn't realize is there isn't much CW coverage on this tri-band rig. And that didn't make me too happy. So rather than keep it for sentimental reasons, uh, I probably am looking to, uh, I am looking to sell it. But I'm going to show you how it works. You will hear it working in, a, in some contacts that I made uh, after this narration. And the first thing we do is we will turn this up a little bit. We'll look for a station. And we'll try and peek him up on receive. Okay, and I'm going to tune off him. And then I'm going to throw this in tune. Now we generally look for about 250 mils of cathode current when we tune it up and we look to peak up the power. But I'm, I'm not going to quite tune it up that high because uh, these rigs use sweep tube technology and these tubes cannot handle a lot of power for a long period of time. They're made for uh, sideband type duty which is not very heavy. So I'm going to throw it in the tune position and then uh, I'm going to dip this uh, and uh, the reason I dip that is in a parallel resonant circuit. Uh, when you reach the resonant part the current goes to minimum. So I've dipped that now and I'm going to go back there and I'm going to dip that and I'm going to make sure that I have the my maximum drive there and I'm going to increase the increase it to I'm going to dip it again and you can see my power up here is over 70 watts and I'm going to increase it again this is a back and forth thing and I'm going to increase it again and we're down I'm going to leave it at 200 mils I'm pegged over here at 100 100 watts output so I'm, that's the tuning procedure for the Swan 240 and it uh, does operate on three bands. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is uh, just uh, one more time, give me a, a signal report as to quality and strength, and then I'm going to let you get, get, get going there. But uh, give me a signal report as to quality and uh, strength now. I'm using a D104 microphone, by the way. KJ7GLK1OIK. Okay, that's I uh, really do appreciate that, uh, uh, Bill. E uh, KJ7 GLK1 OIK Cape Cod. How is the quality of my signal? Uh, go ahead. Okay, because I'm using a rig that's older than you, probably. It's a uh, Swan 240. Uh, yes, I certainly do have time for Boy Scouts uh, for a, a QSO. Uh, my name is Bert, Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango. I am located on Cape Cod, which is in Massachusetts. I'm on Cape Cod. Uh, which is in Massachusetts. So how are you copying me? W zero Charlie Charlie K one O I K. K one O I K with T zero Charlie Charlie. We're copying 
Okay, I think you said Liam was the scout. Uh, and did you did you say your name was Liam? Uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, Liam. Okay, uh, Liam. Uh, Liam, how old are you? How old are you? Go ahead. Okay, 15. Well, you're pretty old for a scout. Uh, that's, uh, I guess they usually start around 10 or 11 years uh, of age, and I'm guessing, see, if you're 15, you're probably in 9th or 10th grade. Would that be correct? Go ahead. Okay, um, and... Uh, Tell me uh, a little bit about yourself. What do you hope to be uh, when you, uh, do you plan to go to college or what do you plan to do? Uh, go ahead. Um, I'd like to be an architectural engineer and uh, I'm involved in debate and I swim. This is KJ7GL here in North Carolina. Uh, wherever you're at, you're putting a 20 over 9 signal on me. Uh, and I have my beam aimed at your report. Okay, KJ7GL. I thought I was talking to uh, some Boy Scouts, but I guess not. Okay, you have your beam to Europe. No, your audio's good and clean now. It's, uh, it's better than it was. It was just on the verge of clipping. Yeah, uh, not too bad. But at least the audio's uh, good and clean where you can hear it uh, without any trouble at uh, Where are you in North Carolina and what's your name? Yeah, I'm using a uh, Swan 240.